today in the studios. We plan on having lots of snacks today. We know that there's a couple of new ones in the studios park. We're gonna hop over our way to the Disneyland park as well and try the new snacks over there. My plan, if it all goes good and well, <laughs> is I wanna try and eat at least one thing from each quick service. Now that's the plan. Hopefully the plan goes to plan. <laughs> and then we can go and do all that. We're gonna obviously do a couple of rides and yeah. shows in between. But the priority today is to go and try all those snacks because that's what we love doing. I just wanted to add last night, a little bit fragile this morning. <laughs> Very fragile this morning. We went to Billy Bob's because on a Friday and Saturday they actually have a disco. And there was children in there as well. Just get a little bit crowded because there's a lot of people that go out on a Friday and Saturday. But it was great fun. Was. We had a really good time. But normally we'll go and drink champagne in the Disney hotel, so like Newport Bay and the Marvel Hotel and it's 65 euros for a bottle but we just looked at last night in Billy Bob's you can get a whole bottle of Prosecco for 29 euros which is really good because we've got six glasses making it only five euros a glass so yeah, it's fair barking. to say we had a couple of bottles of that and that's why we're feeling a bit fragile <laughs> so if you are looking for a drink Billy Bob's is really good value yeah, and you get the disco as well yeah great atmosphere the first snack that we want to go and get fingers crossed it's open because we come for this snack the other day and it wasn't open is the Infinity and Beyond Eclair. And I've heard that it tastes like Kinder Bueno. And everyone that knows- Favourite. I love Kinder Bueno and I love Nutella. So this sounds like a bit of me. Let's go and get those snacks. Your, your seals throughout the day, just jumping back into trying them. Have you got anything on your list today that you really, really, really- I'd like to go and see the Lion King show. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, I don't see why not. Cool, let's, let's go. go. We have found the Infinity and Beyond Eclair and the Corn Dog. So they're both here. The Infinity and Beyond Eclair is five euros and the Corn Dog is eight euros. You can also get that sweet break that we talked to you about and that's seven euros. So that's the Eclair with the drink where you save that euro. So these are really handy to know. All the food trucks mostly that are like outside like this, they normally do the sweet break. So yeah, really good. Lauren's just queuing up for us now. Really looking forward to this one, Lauren. All right, as well. I think this might be your favorite. So I've got the Infinity and Beyond Eclair. Look how good that looks. I'm gonna give it a taste test. Buzz Lightyear, calling all space rangers. Nice. <laughs> Hannah was right. The filling tastes like Kinder Bueno, so it's really nice. This is a really good snack. I'd say this is so much better than the ones that they used to do at the food trees. So this is actually a delicious snack. Highly recommend it. And yeah, let's get Lauren's opinion on it. I think this is a really good snack. My turn to taste test. Woo! I'm looking forward to this. Let's have a try. Mm. Nice. Mm -hmm quite a big like offering as well it's really filled yeah it's it's, it's, really, it's a really generous size I reckon you can share that it's white chocolate on top it tastes exactly like King of Breno oh <laughs> sorry yeah I like that I really like that well worth five euros that's a great snack great snack that's a really nice they need snack to keep that who is it Hi, Mando. Allegiance can be powerful. <laughs> Hello, friend. This is the way. <laughs> Right, so who have we just been queuing to see Lauren? Mandalorian and Grogu! So, as I said before on some of my vlogs, you can either stand in the queue sometimes and wait two to four hours to meet characters, or you can do what we just did and we waited 20 minutes um, just to see them pass by. Now, obviously, you don't get your photo opportunity with that. You just get to see them pass by. You did come really close to they us, did. which was a really good in interaction that we had. But if you do want those photos, they're saying like the opening was 4.30, but you'd have to come at like two o'clock. So you're having to come two hours before, and then you're probably gonna have to wait for another hour once you're there. So if you're willing to wait three hours, then go for it, fill your boots. <laughs> but if you just wanna have the nice little passing like we had, which was really good. That was really good. 20 minutes. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with 20 minutes. Oh, Grogu was so cute with his little white hair on his 
he was and oh he was really really cute he was so cute he was so snug wasn't he oh he was he's also um helped me to develop a bit of an appetite he has so, I'm, I'm fancying that brownie ice cream from ooh, the march hare and it's warm brownie as well oh yeah so should we go more march hare march hare yes please we'll be back as soon as we get to march hare with that brand new snack warm chocolate brownie mm. or not so warm ice cream but i'm sure <laughs> the two will complement each other very very well can't wait. As soon as we get there, we'll show you that snack and we'll do that taste test because you guys know we love a snack. <laughs> We're at the March Hare, so what are you going to get, Lauren? I'm going to get the door ice cream. And you're not just going to get that, what else? Oh, are you and a hot chocolate. Yeah, so we're going to get the sweet break on this yeah. one. We normally get a cold drink, but we've actually brought a few drinks with us on this trip. But it's really cold, so we're going to go for a hot chocolate instead, aren't we? Yeah, no. Eight euros. Eight euros for a hot chocolate and the ice cream, so yeah. Yeah, not too bad for an actual full sweet break. I can't wait. They're five euros on their own. Right, okay. Good to know. Standard Although snack I do price. like the popcorn one as well. The That's popcorn one, one is delicious. Right, so we've got our snacks. We went for the sweet break. Hot chocolate. Basic, as I've said before, but it's nice and warm for a day like today. Let's give this ice cream a little test. It's cute, it's one of those cute snacks where you'll pay a little bit more for a snack because it's a cute, cute little snack. Look at him. It does melt very quick. It is spread all over this table right now, so I'm gonna have to be rather quick. Mm. Ice cream, nice and creamy. Very generous as well. Definitely shareable between three people. Mm. That's like a crunchy caramel. Very nice, very sweet. Again, very generous with it. Let's try some of this brownie. Mmm. Nice and gooey. Gooey, soft brownie. I can taste it, um, I can taste the nuts in that, so it is a bit of a nutty brownie but perfectly pleasant, comes in this nice little, I'd say bowl, but it's very quickly melting. Um, so I'd say it'd be rather quick, Lauren, show them how quick it's actually melting. <laughs> this is how quick it's melting. So make sure you're sat down while you're eating it, otherwise it can become a little bit of a messy snack. For five euros, just for the ice cream, or for eight euros with the sweet break, and it is one of those where you've got to save a euro if you're buying a drink. Very good snack. Very pleased with this. I'm gonna eat this quickly and then we're gonna go and find another snack. Oh, it means light. Lumiere would love your name. Do you know Lumiere? Yeah, Lumiere is the candlestick. He looks like this. And he has little candles on both of his hands. He's very good at choreography. So where are you going now? I'm gonna go to Toad Hall. And what are you gonna get? Fish and chips. Fish and chips. We are gonna go for the children's fish and chips, which is a perfectly adequate yeah. size. It's just right for me. It's just right for Lauren. I love the theming in here. Yeah, it's so cute. Off you toad. <laughs> I've got my lunch. I've got the fish and chips, the kids, six year eyes. Like the March Hare, everything's now becoming reusable. So it's a reusable bowl and reusable cutlery, which some people be happy to see because it's plastic and not cardboard. Wood? Plastic. Wood. It's not wood. Oh, okay. It's plastic. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to try it. I know I like it, um, but I'll try it for you guys. So, good bit of fish. That is a good bit of fish. I can see your chip. I love the chip. <laughs> yeah, I love the chips too. They're nice and chunky. Nice and hot. Mm. I love this. I'm not keen on the um, chicken nuggets that Sarah gets from Cafe Della Brews, which is where we're going to go to next. So instead, we've stopped off for some fish and chips for me. So Lauren's was six euros. Mm -hmm. And if you are coming here and you want the adult fish and chips, that's 12 euros. And they also did a vegan offering, which was also 12 euros. If you're looking to get a dessert, 
There is a Mickey bar as well if you wanted to get that for €4.50. So this seems like the one-stop shop for all of your nice treats and snacks. Really reasonably priced. Very good price. Very good price. Considering we've just paid €5 Euros for an ice cream, this is €6 Euros for fish and chips. And it's a really big portion. It is. This fills me up. It's great. And I love the theming of the, the theming restaurant. The theming is great. Right, we've come to Cafe de la Bruce and although we've Although we've vlogged this one a couple of times, there has been a few things that have changed. So normally when you get the pineapple whip, how much is the pineapple whip, Lauren? Five euros. Five euros. Oh, grab my napkins. Um, normally it does come in like a 30th anniversary um, paper cup. Now they come in like these wafer bowls, which nice. The bowl's even edible. This is definitely shareable between three, possibly four of you. If you're just looking for a snack, then this is massive honestly i bet the camera doesn't even do it justice it's so big definitely a shareable snack because if you have one of these on a day like today you're going to be freezing so definitely share it again they've got the reusable spoons they seem to be having these everywhere so reusable spoons reusable drink cups as well so yeah they're trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly which is great with the chicken nuggets that i've got they're eight euros they have changed the packaging on these as well so as you can see these must be um easier to recycle which is great it does look like i don't get as many chicken nuggets one two three four five six seven eight oh no you still do get eight so that's fine very nice like i've said before these chicken nuggets they're in the fish like batter so i know kids love chicken nuggets but it is battered chicken breast but they're absolutely mm. absolutely delicious love it we're gonna eat these and see what other snacks there is to enjoy So how are you finding the Royal Pub? Oh, I love it. Does it look the same? It's our liquor pay. <laughs> liquor pay and the prices have gone up slightly. Yeah, same chairs, same tables. Just slightly darker shade of paint. Yeah, and a bit of panelling. <laughs> but it's still cheaper than a lot of the Disney bars. So they've still got our custom for now. Hello. 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 So we've just been in what used to be King Lugwood's, which is now the Royal Pub. That's right. And I think it's great. The alcohol has actually got a little bit more expensive, <laughs> but it's still really cheap yes. for Disney prices. It's at €8.50 for the La La Bubbles instead of the €7. Euro. So it's still reasonable for Disney because you're going to be paying €15 Euros for cocktails in Disney. So it's still really good. But thank you for coming over and seeing us. You're welcome. Yeah. Really I really appreciate it. it. Oh, we, we appreciate oh. the love and the support. Yeah. And you're watching really? us. Like Disney friends are like one big family. Yes. I agree. 100%. Agree. From the Netherlands. <laughs> yes. Wow. Netherlands. Amazing. That's the good thing about the Disney community. I think when me and Lauren started vlogging, we never realised that it was actually going to revolve into like an extended family. We've yeah. met so many friends. Yeah, it really is one big family. Everyone you meet, you have like the same hobbies. Yeah. You collect yeah, stuff, you love. love it. Yeah, well, that's it. Love. You all have that common ground, don't you? I think when the you... The fairy tale. The... That's it, yes. The magic. <laughs> yes. I agree. Because like, when you sometimes like speak to people at work and you talk about Disney, you can tell they get a little bit bored, whereas actually... <laughs> When you're a part of that Disney yeah. community and you yes. all talk about it, you're like, oh yeah, 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 I get, get it. it. Yeah, we like, call ourselves um, Disney gekkies. Yeah. Woo! It's Disney. like Disney gekkies. Happy. It's like a Dutch show. 
Like and crazy that. people love Disney. Right. Like translators. I love that. That's Disney cool. crazy people. And I think that's what people <laughs> think of us. I think mean, they think we're <laughs> Disney crazy, crazy people. Yeah. And I love that. We'll take that title all yeah. day when long. I, when I met friends of my right. Disney friends, I also call myself a Disney hacky. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Disney hacky. No shame. Disney no I love shame. Disney. No, no. Yeah, it makes us happy, yeah. right? Yeah. I think everyone should have like a hint of Disney in their life because yes. it just makes you happy. Like it if really you does. if you can't be happy at Disney, then oh, if you're not happy, you should go to Disney yes. and buy stuff. Yes. Buy stuff. Buy stuff. Buy stuff. <laughs> stuff. Yeah. What did you just buy? 110 pounds. Jump off, was it? A jacket. A jacket. <laughs> but oh you like God, my mom's gonna watch this. Oh, mom, don't watch. Mom, don't watch. <laughs> but I have my discount of my annual card. That helps. That helps, Mum. That helps. Mom. Disney Mad is you have to spend money to save money. Exactly. Right, Mum, so That's if you're true. watching this, you saved some money and it's something she's going to keep for many years. Yes. Yes, sure. So it's worth it, yes, Mum. It's the memory. Yes. It only cost her 10 euros, Mum. <laughs> I had like 22 euro discount, so well, I can buy all the stuff from there. Exactly. Or a drink. That's or it. a yeah. snack. That's right. There we go. Even better. Every year it turns into snacks. It That's does. Right. Or more yeah. sugar. Thank you so oh, much for coming in, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Next up, we went to New York Style Sandwiches, which is in the Disney Village. I went for the children's meal, which was €9, Euros, and as you can see, it was a very big portion. Very, very big. I would highly recommend going for the children's one. Lauren went for the adult's pizza, which was €12, Euros, or you can get it a part of a meal where you'd get the pizza and a drink. Bon appétit. Well, that officially ends the end of our day. We've had an amazing day today. My favourite's been trying that Buzz Lightyear eclair. What about you, Lauren? Mine was trying that brownie sundae from the March Hare. Oh yeah, that was delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, join us in our next vlog, guys. I've been Magical by Sarah. And I've been Lauren. Speak to you soon, guys. Mwah. Bye! Bye.